The Tom's Guide team and I are attending CES 2025, the consumer electronics show. If you've been subscribed to our channel for a while now, you might be familiar with it. It's basically a week of marathon announcements and the hottest innovations in tech. And we're going to be doing our best to bring you all of the biggest news from the show. So make sure if you aren't subscribed, you do that now because you don't want to miss any of the excitement. And I promise you, there's a lot of cool stuff planned for this year. Let's start with the big one, TVs. CES is the event to pay attention to if you're interested in possibly getting a new TV this year, or if you're just an AV nerd like me and wanna see, you know, transparent OLED TVs. We actually did a video on one of those last year, and this year I'm expecting Samsung and LG to keep raising the stakes. These brands kinda of have this back and forth on who will win best of show. For Samsung, it could be something really cool like in the 8K or lifestyle TV space, while for LG, it's all about pushing the boundaries of OLED. But hear me out, don't forget about brands like Hisense and TCL. They're known for their value conscious sets, sure, but they really keep showing up and they know they have to do something really good to make headlines. And something tells me we'll see exactly that. Computing is another big category at CES, albeit a bit of a predictable one. Think new GPUs, new CPUs, and companies attempting to flirt with new form factor concepts. You'll see the usual suspects, Asus, Acer, Lenovo, Dell, Razer, and more, all bringing new systems sporting either significantly improved specs thanks to the new NVIDIA RTX 50 series GPUs we're expecting to see, or the rumored new top-of-the-line AMD CPU, as well as better value for money as CPU companies continue to aggressively chase the bottom line and really bring a value message to the Copilot Plus PC party to take on those MacBooks. Otherwise, more broadly in the computing category, our editors are predicting that Wi-Fi 7 will find its way into more devices as the costs come down, and more mini PCs will debut, a middle ground between desktops and laptops. Again, taking cues from Apple, the Mac Mini M4 has received very positive reception, proving that there's definitely still a market for that category of machine. If you followed CES last year, you know that AI was the hottest subject of the show, so you're probably wondering why I haven't brought it up much to this point. The start of 2024 was defined by companies trying to figure out what an AI device actually looks like, and the results, they were pretty bad. The Humane AI pin was rather essentially launched into obscurity to the point that the company has pivoted to just doing software and the Rabbit R1 left such a bad taste in our mouths I can't even talk about it but if you want to know what I mean go check out our review video if you can even call it that. So that leaves us expecting that companies are going to be a lot more tempered with their AI proposals. It most definitely will still be everywhere, but it should be almost like a dual role between more thoughtful implementations into the likes of TVs, kitchen tech, and audio, while also being more concept heavy by enabling some truly impressive robotics prototypes. Side note, I can guarantee that if we see robots at CES, they'll be posted on our socials, so check us out at Tom's Guide on Instagram and TikTok. Some other categories you'll see in CES nudes include audio, probably some cool headphones and soundbars, as well as home appliances, you know, next-gen smart fridges, wacky cooking gadgets, devices claiming to revolutionize the smart home, all that good stuff. There also could be some fun gaming announcements, and then companies like L'Oreal always have something really exciting in the beauty tech space. Delta is apparently doing its press conference at the Spears. Celebrities make CES appearances. I mean, all I'm trying to say is January is a really special time in consumer tech. You never know what could happen. So again, make sure you follow along so that you're in the know. And if you are a CES aficionado, let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to or are hoping to see from this year's show. Otherwise, I've got some packing to do. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.